Well, back at the rock, uh, the returning marauders haul themselves out in the little butt body hemp baskets to rejoin the party. <laughs> yeah, the raiders of Hashishana, uh, they bring back enough treasure. Uh, so that Hashishan just gives everything to all of the villagers in the valleys below. And the only thing uh, he needs extra help with is uh, importing tea, paraffin, sugar, and rice. But uh, the four muleteers of Karamabad, that's all covered now because they've moved right there to Shutukan just three kilometers south of the base of the <clears throat> rock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like all the four muleteers need to do right now, they just go to Gosvin and back. Four days to Gosvin, four days to get back, and the old man buys their whole load. <laughs> Like every time, no sweat. Oh, yeah. Four muleteers, powerful merchants now. Wealthy. Mm -hmm. And uh, they just hang out like in their trading post, which they've made into kind of like a Persian li lizard lounge, uh, ambient lounge. <clears throat> with the with the hookahs and the fancy samovars from Samarkand to do what? <laughs> Boil water and then they turn that little spigot and they add exotic teas from around the world. Yeah, and they're smoking primo, Bokistani, Mazari Sharif. Just south of the Oxiana. What country is that? Afghanistan. But look at Hashishan himself. He can't like fool around all, all day long. He, he must stay focused because he has to figure out. He needs a human resource energy loop. <clears throat> you know, in the 11th century. You know, he needs more warriors. He needs more women. Uh, and uh, uh, organic cannabis growers. And he's already absorbed all the stock. He's got everybody who, who, who is able about it. He's, work, he's working and paying them like 10 times more than they ever thought. And uh, he gives them everything anyway. There isn't even any stores. You just uh, go up to the uh, Hashishan trading post <coughs> of the four muleteers of Karamabad on the Caspian Sea. If you see um, those hookahs, huh? Mm -hmm. He was meditating one pointedly on a hookah overflowing with hashish, and that's when he had his vision. Uh, the answer is like, hello, <laughs> right what you're staring at? Oh yeah, hashish. Okay. So he brought in some uh, captured prisoners of war and just, just some friends who wanted to party. <laughs> and uh, they... Uh, determined that a four gram slab that's like 12 gold coins of Mulak Shah with a little uptight eagle on the back you push four of those on there equal its weight to pure hashish and what happens then <laughs> well uh, you pass out of your natural mind and because the secret technique, these are prisoners of war, they're at the base of the rock. They're going through the uh, drug transformation transcendent stations at the base of the rock, run by the Grand Vizier. Uh, and they're coached. Look, the secret is smoke, smoke, smoke. 
And then you're going to cough like you've never coughed before. But that, don't stop smoking. It's when you smoke while you're coughing that you never got so and in this uh, semi-dead uh, and or alive state, you, you, you just will absorb anything anybody like wants to tell you. You know, it's kind of like hashish hypnotic suggestion. So they didn't hypnotize people back in the 11th century. They just didn't know what was going on and enjoyed their life. Well, what he does, look, Hashishan, he makes a secret pleasure garden. Uh-huh. Within those rampanted, battlemented walls of his uh, rock crown fortress. Yeah. And uh, he creates the post Islamic uh, heaven that every full blooded, <laughs> big chested Persian male would most desire if absolutely free. What would you do if you were? Mm -hmm. from the social conditioning of straight medieval society. As known in the provinces of Zandan and Mazranderdan, mm -hmm. south of Azerbaijan, Bashkan, Samarkand. Um... The landscape up there, fragrant. Like I said, they had said more water than they knew what to do with it. Erotic. Exotic landscape. Fra uh, fragrant. Roses. Jasmine. Tulips. <laughs> of course. You've heard about them. Honeysuckle vine. Don't get caught in those around your ankles. Um. Uh, leading to a cool reflecting pool you know, with a couple of pet gazelles hanging out, looking at them in the water. Where you are free to indulge yourself. Mm -hmm. the, the Hashishan, for his mere nod, a... Um, female devotee would uh, fellatiate you to throbbing erection. Uh, 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 she throws her pussy saddle over your <laughs> phallus and rise to Kandahar After which she reclines, throws it all back on the ruffled divan, and smokes a joint of extraordinary assassin marijuana. These bliss orgies, I mean, what? They go on for weeks. Whenever the the old man snaps his fingers. The Grand Master, uh, and uh, he he initiates his reformed new warriors by gifting them the status of Sultan. Well, actually, Micro Sultan, though it's hard to translate into the farcical Farsi language. Yeah, no social hang-ups around there. The whole rock thing, <clears throat> absolute free behavior. Ah, <laughs> uh, no social hang-ups. Yeah. Um, hmm. 
the more taboo the better, according to Tantra. Uh, excuse me. Um, harem, sexual aficionados. Pussy whip. These fresh assassin warriors. <laughs> Into peak form. What's up, old man? <laughs> uh, yeah, the essential attitude adjustment from common mortal man to immortal blissed out warrior? A done deal now, huh? Shit. Yeah. 